Google Hacking Database, aka Google Docs, is used to manipulate the search string so you can turn Google Engine into a fairly powerful hacking tool. For example, instead of looking for a normal web page, you decide to search for passwords or maybe you want to search if your client uses remote desktop web connection. Now let's see the most popular Google hack filter strings. The first one in the list is the cache filter. The cache keyword searches through Google's cache for information on a specific site. In addition, you can add an optional search phrase. The second one is file type. This one searches only for files of a specific type, document, Excel, PDF. The one after is the info filter. This keyword displays information that Google stores about the page itself. Another interesting filter is the entitle keyword. This one searches for pages that contain the string in the title. Next, we have the in URL filter, which displays pages with the string in the URL. Finally, is the site filter that displays pages for a specific domain or website holding the search term. Let's see how to apply these filters. To start, let's open the Google search engine. If you want to search for a hosted PDF file for your client, then you would use the following query. I have combined the file type search filter to specify the file type and the site filter to specify the client name. Now you're saying to yourself, wait, guys, this is not working because I'm testing my own website and I know it's secure. That's why I have no answers. And to be honest, this is what you should be expecting from your client website. Another example. Let's say I want to search for the login keyword in the title of a page. Again, we have no results. Awesome. Our final Google Doc for this demo is the password search using the paste bin website for dumped passwords. By the way, people use paste bin to store compromised information and share it on the web. Please be careful when you use this website. Before I finish this demo, I want to show you an important website <laughs> that you should dream about it while sleeping. And it's called ExploitDB. Kali has already added a shortcut for you here. So let's click on this button. In the homepage, you have the latest exploits in fact, I will talk about this specific page in the last module of this course. What is important here is the Google Hacking Database link in the menu. Click on it to go to that page. If you really want to learn the advanced technique of Google Docs, this is the best place for you. You will have plenty of examples under your fingertips. I will show you one example and will leave the rest for you. Here you have the files containing juicy info category. In this column, you can see the Google Doc query itself and then some description on the right in the summary column. And by the way, you can click on that link and it will take you directly to the Google search engine and will do the search for you. I will leave the learning curve for you to explore these interesting queries.